What is going on guys, it's Savage Hollows here. This is Forza 6, bringing you some Camaro Z28 gameplay on the Nurburgring. I decided to test this car, one, on a, rain, on a rainy racetrack, which I'm going to redo that video with audio and some uh, commentary, but that's not what we're talking about right now. We are talking about the, the 2014 Camaro Z28. The Camaro originates from long, long ago, and it had a history of fights, we're going to say, with the Ford Mustang. But from my point of view, the Camaro was always the sleeker, better looking, and faster vehicle. What you're watching on your screen right now is the Camaro Z28 modified S-Class on the Nurburgring. I was driving extremely aggressive which is the most fun you can have driving this car. It is so much fun driving it aggressive, and it will go around corners nicely and it will go fast and long straightaways. It has slight understeer when it comes to small little curves in the road, but um, if you're careful with it, it'll be fast, it'll, be, it'll drive nice. This particular Camaro is a rear wheel drive. It comes rear wheel drive unless you configure it to be all-wheel drive. It has a standard V8 engine with 624 foot-pounds of torque and 725 horsepower. That is a lot of horsepower. This Camaro actually has a bigger V8 engine than the 2015 Z06 Camaro, but or not the Camaro, the Corvette, I'm sorry, it has a bigger engine than the Corvette, but since the Corvette comes with the V8 3.5 liter V8 supercharged, it goes faster. Um, this Camaro on the Nurburgring, I could not get it out of fourth gear. It would not um, shift up into fifth. It's that fast that this track isn't, it doesn't have long enough straightaways to get up to fifth gear. On the Le Mans racetrack, you can get it up into fifth gear, but it won't shift up into sixth with the Corvette, which I will be coming out with a video of the Corvette in the rain and on the Nurburgring. It is a lot of fun to drive, just like the, just like this car, but you go a lot faster in the Corvette than you do in the Camaro, because the Corvette hugs the corners a lot nicer. It's lower to the ground, so it has higher downforce, and it's um, all around grips the track a little bit better, but the Camaro is still a great car to drive, especially around this racetrack. Um, as I said before, all my cars and all my videos will be modded with the highest amount of modifications, so S-Class, R-Class, P-Class even, uh, if I'm racing a GTR. Um, but that's all I wanted to say about this car for right now. Uh, I'll redo the rain um, video that I did earlier today, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.